Hello, I just have a couple minutes. So I wanted to give you all the spoilers for Caitlin Coach's Confident Eaters. Okay. So this is partially me just running through things to see how these notes I've taken actually sound when I say them out loud. And partially, if you're an extremely self-directed and self-guided individual, you are going to get a lot out of this just by taking what I'm saying and Googling it or journaling it or whatever. But if you um, need a little extra help and guidance, that's what the course is for, right? So um, because as uh, the coach that I go to, Emily Gibson always says, and I'm sure she got it from many others before her, you can't see the label of the ketchup bottle from inside of the ketchup bottle, right? We're just too far in our own brain sometimes to see what they're doing and find useful information about it, right? So um, private coaching. I am cheating off of my phone here. And in the private coaching questions, um, there's two options. One of them is the like emotional eating side of things. And then the other side is, um, your commitment to your weight loss goal. Okay. So we're going to go with the emotional eating questions real quick so that you can see what they are like. Um, pause recording, hold on. All right, ready? We're gonna make a list of the emotions that you try to avoid having on a daily basis. Talk about how, um, when and how you normally experience those emotions, how deciding to overeat affects those emotions, how actually overeating affects the emotions, how you feel after you've overeaten and how it affects the emotions that you ate to avoid. And this is a, like I said, a good one to journal. What do you imagine your day would be like if you felt these emotions instead of overeating? Okay. So that is the overeating option. And then this is the weight loss goal questions. What is the reason you want to lose weight? And then, you know, it's me. So I'm going to dig through the layers a little bit, right? Not just like, I don't know how to feel better, <laughs> but like, tell me, um, do you believe this re reason is compelling enough to keep you from ever overeating? Are you willing to give up food as you know it to have the freedom from overeating and being overweight? Are you willing to live without the escape that food provides? Are you willing to feel worse before you feel better? And are you willing to continue even when results aren't fast? If it took you a year, but you knew it was going to happen in a year. If it took you five years, but you knew it was going to happen in five years. Um, are you willing to embrace not being normal in order to not be overweight? Why or why not? And how do you imagine you can fulfill this commitment to yourself? And that could sound a little like, how do you think you can do this? But no, like, let's imagine like, what do you think you could do? My, I love tapping into your future self and figuring out um, future self. How did you do this? This is so fun, right? So that would be if you get the private coaching option, which again is 50% off today. Um, and then the teaching videos, you guys, it's a five-part workshop, but real, real quick. We'll dive into your brain with coaching and, and I'll explain to you the process that I use to slow the moments down of like your action was taking the food that you did not want and putting it in your mouth. What were you feeling? What were you thinking? What food was it? What is the result that you created? Okay. Um, we're going to talk about your upper brain and your lower brain, right? Your upper brain is the one that makes all the choices. It's the grown up brain, right? And then your lower brain is the one that keeps you safe and seeks pleasure and avoids um, discomfort, right? So that's the one that's like, okay, but if one cookie is good, 17 cookies are better, right? And just seeks out that dopamine. Um, your brain is plastic, so it can be changed. And I'm going to go over how to create a bridge thought and how to create ladder thought. So an example of a bridge thought is like, I don't need to eat that to have fun. That's not the bridge thought. That's the thought you want to get to. And you're like, mm, but I'm pretty sure I really need to eat that to have fun, right? So then the bridge thought would be, it's possible that I could have 
some fun without eating it, right? And it's like, okay, yeah, I believe I could maybe have some fun without eating it. Um, that's an example of a bridge thought, okay? So that is just a real quick thing about how we're gonna talk about the brain. Your body, we're gonna talk about hunger hormones. Leptin, Google this if you want to, leptin, ghrelin, and insulin. This is the reason that people like intermittent fasting and those hunger hormones um, and a uh, somewhat less known way of eating that I like is called trim healthy mama. It helps balance your insulin. They're kind of opposite ideas because with intermittent fasting, you need a lot in a short amount of time and with trim healthy mama. You eat like you can eat six meals a day if you need to. Right. So, um, again, if you want to Google things, go for it. I'll explain it, but if you want to just do it, go for it. Um, I get really nerdy about this, the connection between your gut health and your weight. Um, they did studies with mice where they transplanted an obese person's gut microbiome onto these mice and then lean person's gut microbiome onto these mice and the mice ended up matching. <laughs> so crazy. Um, so we just don't talk about this enough, I think. Um, and then just your body, like your taste buds can be reset. It is possible. Um, okay. We're going to talk about your relationship with yourself. Okay. Are you your own flakiest friend? Are you, um, what is your balance between showing up for yourself, putting yourself last in a healthy way where you're serving others and like giving of yourself, putting yourself last in an unhealthy way where you are no longer functional and cannot help others because you are not taking care of yourself. <laughs> um, and then let's see here. Um, we're going to talk about confidence versus self-confidence. So confidence is based on everything that you created in the past. And you're like, yeah, I can create that again. Yep. Can do like, I can keep a small child alive for a whole day. I know I can do that. Right. Self-confidence is knowing that you are going to have your own back and not beat yourself up. Whatever happens, right. That you can feel whatever feeling and not beat yourself up. Okay. And then, um, urges and cravings resisting urges and cravings and like holding the door shut on it just makes us stronger. Allowing it without acting on it is where the magic is. And I'm going to use what we are going to talk about with just like um, coaching and how your thoughts create your feelings and your feelings create your actions to explain that a little bit more. Um, intriguing, right? I should, I should make a reel about that. It's very, it's a whole thing. Um, your relationship with food, your relationship with food is just all of your thoughts about food. Okay. So, um, if your thoughts about food are, oh my gosh, I've had such a hard day. I just need an Oreo, right. Or like, um, I don't know, you could have more healthy thoughts about food. So many comment and give me some of your thoughts about food. This is where, you know, feedback would be really helpful in this whole brain dump process. <laughs> Um, so like, and we'll talk about unhelpful thoughts about food as well, where it's like a thought error. Like I was talking about earlier of like, but I have to eat this to be able to have fun. Do you, do you have to eat it to be able to have fun? Um, and then the, so that is the teaching videos, the like five part webinar thing, right? Going backwards, your relationship with food, urges and cravings, your relationship with yourself, um, your body and your brain. Okay. Then the other option too is just $89 for six weeks of group coaching sessions. And so that'll be specifically talking about food and like, okay, you did a thing. And now we're going to talk about how it went. Um, and, uh, there's a little, yeah, there's, if you do the group coaching option, I will also give you access to the mini subscription for the months of like the six weeks that we're doing it just so that you have even more opportunities to bring even more, whatever is coming up for you with coaching. So I hope that helped explain a little bit of the nuts and bolts of like what you are getting, like what's inside the box. If I buy the box, what's in the box. And I am so excited to help you, um, achieve all of your 
goals and just make your brain a nicer place to live with food this holiday season.